Hey, Paco here. If you're from... Hello, Paco here. If you're from the Pacific Northwest, you're probably used to seeing blackberries as an unwanted weed. Well, what if you could see it as an art material instead? So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas wreath completely out of blackberry vines. So, let's see how it goes. Now, if you've ever gone blackberry picking, you know that uh, they have very sharp thorns. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of the thorns and these side branches. So, to do that, I bought myself a potato peeler. And you're not going to be using the actual peeling section, you're going to be using the edge of the blade. This is dull, but it does exactly what we need it to do. So the first thing we need to do is break off some of these thorns so we have a place to handle the vine. Once that's broken off, delicately handle it, take the edge of the blade, and we just pull against it. And it knocks it off. Then we just go along and break off some more of those. And then put the blade against the thorns and just kind of push. Uh, once you get it going, make sure you get all sides too. Okay, once you get it going, then you can kind of get out into a faster speed. You just keep pulling it. This helps if it's still attached to the, the vine uh, because then you can kind of pull it taut and it's just kind of going back and forth on it. Uh, you just go along and check, make sure you got them all underneath as well. Okay, and what we have now is a vine relatively free of thorns. Once we have a piece as big as we want, we take a pair of pruning shears, or whatever you want to call these, and just snip it off. Ta-da! The next step, once you have your vine, is you have to bend it into a circle, like so. Make it as big or as small of a circle as you want. Uh, if you get too small, the blackberry will break. If you make it too big, then this doesn't work very well. But we'll see. So you get into a circle, then you take the, the thin end and you thread it through. And you go around and keep wa wrapping around the end over and over again. Now the moment's not much of a circle, we will fix that in the next step. We then take a second piece of blackberry and start it at a different location, uh, and we start wrapping it around again from what we already have. And if it's a piece la leaving out at the end, that's all right. We'll take care of that later. See, when we come around a second time, we can always wrap that in if it fits. Still not much of a circle, we'll continue going though.
point, you can go back and trim off any extra pieces that you don't like. And what you have there is your holiday wreath. So I made my small wreath, but I wanted something a little bit bigger, so I made myself a larger wreath. The same techniques, only with larger blackberry vines. Uh, that is about it for the main um, techniques for using blackberries. Next time I will show you some more advanced techniques. So, until next time. Today, some team says something.